Hello and welcome to yet another Views from the Veranda. Well look, everyone's aware of interest rate rises at the moment and it looks like there's going to be a couple of more still to come. So what I'd like to discuss with you today is how to prepare if you're a home owner and a mortgage holder uh, for these rate rises. Well look, obviously there's been a bit nasty in terms of the, uh, the, the increase in actually interest rates. And for some of you who don't know, it was back in 2010 when interest rates rose like this prior to this. And in fact, they're still not at the levels that they were before. So interest rates are still relatively low. So look, it's the whole concept is to start squirrelling money away. And in some cases, a lot of that money has already been squirrelled away. During the pandemic, the RBA indicated that something like $300 billion were put into savings accounts. So there is a bit of a buffer that people might be able to use to draw down on. Um, the important thing is also the fact that you are being affected by inflation at the moment, which is one of the reasons why the Reserve Bank is doing these interest rate rises. Um, inflation has gone up something like 7.8%, which is quite an increase, and so the Reserve Bank wants to pull it back, hence the reason why they've got these um, interest rate rises. So look, if you are looking to sort of weather the storm, the idea would be to uh, look at your offset account, see what's money being put aside in that. Obviously, you need to reduce your spending. And in fact, off the back of um, um, the pandemic where something like, as I said, 300 billion was saved, there has been an element of revenge spending. So people has gone out and that's been pushing the inflation rate out. So look, we really do need to pull back on that spending, um, be able to readjust in terms of being able to meet the mortgage payments that have to be made. Um, and that's the reason why we will come out of this in pretty good shape. Um, looking at what these interest rate rises have done to the real estate market, uh, back before the interest rate rises, you were able to borrow, borrow about a million dollars. Right now, that same borrower will be able to borrow, borrow about 760000 So that's the ability to actually borrow money has also been affected in the amount that you can put towards buying a property. So look, if you'd like to know how that might affect you in the future, in terms of how to get the best out of the mortgage that you've got at the moment, or if you are looking to sell or buy, contact us, message us. We're here to give you the best advice the Shire can provide. And until next time, Take care and look after each other. Thank you.